John Joseph Xavier Sheon coming at you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm Laura. And today we're going to open up this Batman Dark Knight Returns book and mask set that we put, picked up at Ollie's Bargain Outlet for $6.99. Before we do that, if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe so you can get notified about videos like this in the future. Slap the like button. And um, as well, there's links to leave a tip if you appreciate this kind of content. Nothing is expected, but anything at all is always appreciated. Um, and please watch the video all the way to the end and then leave a comment to let us know what you think. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it does really help the channel grow. So with that in mind, let's get to it. So um, this ended up at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Let's see if there's a, a price. It definitely sold for more than $6.99 when it was new. And... Oh yeah, this was a, a good discount. $39.99. So you get uh, you get the book, you get the mask, $39.99. I don't know if I would pay $40 for this, but at seven, it was pretty hard to resist. So let's open it up. So it's got the Dark Knight Returns. Have you heard of that, Laura? Yeah. You have? It's a movie, right? Or um, I guess the book. So half the people who are watching are like <laughs> cringing right now. <laughs> and the other half are like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the movie. Um, so it, it was a book that came out in 1986. And it was a prestige format set in the future. Here's, here's Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. He came out of retirement. He was older. Beat up, came out of retirement, and it sort of was set up as the last Batman story, except there's been a couple sequels to it by now. Um, very influential on the movies. Uh, elements get got incorporated into all of them. So, whoops. Hard to not rip the box a little bit. So, let's take this out and look at it. So, here's the mask, and it's got a Velcro strap on the back. It has some foam right here. I think you're supposed to keep that there, though. I think that's to protect your face from getting too smashed if the Joker punches you in the nose. So doesn't look that bad um it has his nostrils on it which looks kind of weird i don't picture batman's nostrils as being on his cow see him oh is that nostrils yeah oh yeah like the tops of the nostrils. yeah it's kind of weird so um i figured that you would want to put this on You can be Bat Girl. Bat Girl mm -hmm. does. So, that looks pretty good. How does it feel? Feels nice. Okay, can you see? Yes, except for without my glasses. Okay, so the book, it looks like in the packaging we got these little scuffs on the top. And, um, Hmm. Can you see the bottom of my nose? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. You can see the bottom of your nose. Why don't you put your glasses on so you can look at the book and let us know what you think of it. Oh, yeah. A little bit on the bottom, too, here is messed up. I already have a copy of this. Um, I had, I think it was the first trade paperback collection of this that came out. Um, but you, why don't you take... Oh, it does. Why don't you take a look at this book and just give us your thoughts. And this book is probably the most influential Batman story in terms of anything that showed up on a movie screen since it came out. So, 
So looking at it and I'll show this to the camera. The color reproduction does look pretty good. Um, it's got the the Lynn Varley kind of watercolor look. I know someone who's not me has probably already done a video comparing the color in this to all the prior versions. There's nothing to compare it to. So, well, we would <clears throat> really have to have the other version in front of us. To say, um, these things have been getting scanned into computers and then digitally touched up I every like time the, they get reprinted. I like the design when they make it like little TV screens. Oh yeah, like well, little let's, old TV screens. So just <laughs> just to show, uh, during the story, there's a lot of uh, newscasters who are sort of acting as a Greek chorus and commenting on it. So you see the TV screen with the news testers all having their take on what's going on. Let's see. Um, one of Time Magazine's top 10 graphic novels of all time, brutal reboot of one of the greatest comic book characters ever created. Major superheroes never felt this real before. So front is full of praise. Um, that wasn't there on the edition I got many, many years ago. Um, so it looks like there's a short introduction, um, nothing that looks real essential. And then we have a cover gallery in the back, did not get that. And let's see, um, oh, we have some of the scripts, so that's cool, that's a cool addition. Some of the penciled artwork so that's that's very cool i know that frank miller um was not a hundred percent happy with claus jensen's inking of this although for me it's hard to imagine it without his heavy inks um but looking at these i think claus jensen was far and away the best choice probably even better than if miller himself would have done it but you can see that there is a lot of leeway that different people could ink this differently. Um, if you imagine someone like Terry Austin, for instance, finishing this, it would look a lot more, more ornate and traditional than what we got, which was a little bit rougher and more brutal. So let's see the book. So this book alone, 1999. That's about right. I wish it, it didn't get a little messed up in the process of getting packed it in with this mask. So at full price, 20 bucks for the book, 20 bucks for the mask. I don't know, I like the mask. Laura obviously seems to like the mask. I'm not sure if it's worth $20 yes. or not. What do you think? I wouldn't pay 20 for it. Yeah, I mean- I pay $10 for it. It works, but it's not like a super ornate, high quality mask or anything. So I think we've covered it. Is there anything else? Not that I can think of. Okay. And uh, just in case you noticed my Batman hat, this is the character face Batman New Era hat. And it came out to promote the Batman versus Superman movie a couple years back. These eyes glow in the dark. So I thought I'd get this out for the video. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't yet done so, slap the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching to the end and have a wonderful day.